When it comes to Depp, it seems as though a lot has been going against him as of late, not the least of which is the court situation with his ex-wife Amber Heard. But she has gone and blasted Depp every which way she can to try and convince people that he a beat her during their one-year marriage. But Johnny has maintained his innocence and fought back, and yet has lost many things during that time, including a libel case in the UK. But at last, a major victory has come forth, and it could turn things around. Allow us to break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four, the case will go on. A Virginia judge allowed Depp to proceed with his $50 million defamation lawsuit against Amber Heard after her plea to dismiss the suit after Depp lost his UK libel case was denied. Depp is suing Heard, his ex-wife, after she wrote a 2018 op-ed in the Washington Post about being a survivor of domestic AB. She didn't name Depp in the op-ed, but she accused him of domestic violence after their 2016 divorce. Johnny Depp is speaking out for the first time about his professional difficulties following his public split from ex-wife Amber Heard. In November 2020, Depp lost a UK libel case against the publisher of The Sun, a UK tabloid that alleged he was an ab -er of his wife in a 2018 article. The judge ruled that the words were substantially true. Heard requested that Depp's defamation suit against her be dismissed after the UK judgment since both lawsuits involved allegations of Depp as an ab -er. In a new interview with the Sunday Times, the actor claims he's being boycotted by Hollywood after Amber accused him of domestic violence. However, the Virginia court ruled that the two cases and statements were inherently different. Although the claims are similar in the sense that they both relate to claims of AB by plaintiff, the statements being defended in the UK case are inherently different than the statements published by defendant, wrote Chief Judge Penny S. Ascarte. The court is not persuaded by defendant's argument that plaintiff had a full and fair opportunity to litigate the UK action. Ascarte wrote in a dense opinion released after it was made. The interview comes as his latest film, Minamata, has yet to score a US release, with the actor blaming this on the absurdity of media mathematics after their 2016 split and the Defendant was not a part in the UK action and was not treated as one, she continues. Though it should be mentioned that both Heard and Depp took to the stand over in London on their respective POVs on the various allegations of his AB behavior. Because she was not named a defendant, she was not subject to the same discovery rules applicable to named parties, the judge determined. In fact, defendant could not have been a named defendant to the UK litigation because her allegedly defamatory statements were made after the UK action commenced. The actor blaming this on the absurdity of media mathematics after their 2016 split and the surreal five years that followed. Descartes said, citing the December 2018 Washington Post op-ed by Heard that set Depp off his legal pursuit not long afterward. Ascarte also noted the vast differences between US and UK libel law and held that enforcing UK verdicts in a US court would create a chilling effect and could set a dangerous precedent. Elsewhere, the judge called Heard's arguments especially puzzling and nonsensical. The judge denied Depp's request to impose sanctions against Heard's lawyers for filing the motion, finding that while the motion was misguided and only thinly supported by existing law, it did not rise to the level of sanctionable conduct, which is a bit depressing given that she has been trying to get this case thrown out for some time. He told the publication, some films touch people and this affects those in Minamata and people who experience similar things and for anything. But the fact that the judge admitted that Heard and her team were being nonsensical was at the very least something. Plus it means that Johnny will indeed get his day in court and hopefully be able to prove that he has been lied about for years. Number three, Johnny's reaction. Naturally, with this major win over his ex, one has to go and wonder how he was feeling after this statement was made. Mr. Depp is most gratified by the court's decision. The actor's lawyer, Ben Chu of the DC office of Brown Rudnick, told Deadline Tonight with both brevity and understatement. Hit and miss in his legal adventures over the past several years, this is the second victory that fired Fantastic Beast star Depp has had against Heard in almost as many weeks. For Hollywood's boycott of me, one man, one actor in an unpleasant and messy situation over the last number of years? He added, whatever I've gone through, I've gone through. 
Earlier this month, a New York judge ruled that Depp could conduct a determination if his Rum Diary co-star really did donate a portion of their $7 million divorce settlement to the ACLU, as she is widely proclaimed. Having been delayed on numerous occasions because of the pandemic and more, currently the Virginia matter is set to go to trial in April, which means it will indeed be a long wait for things to potentially settle down. But at the very least, this victory on top of other major things that have been going on behind the scenes could lead to Depp getting the victory that many feel he deserves. Number 2. Boycotted? According to Depp, the past five years have been surreal for him. In his first published interview since losing a libel suit, against the publishers of Britain's The Sun newspaper, the actor talked to the Sunday Times about his new movie, Minamato. But ultimately, this particular arena of my life has been so absurd. In the drama, Johnny portrays a photojournalist W. Eugene Smith, who made his last photo essay about industrial- Depp, who also served as one of the producers of the film, portrays real-life photographer W. Eugene Smith, whose work with Life magazine documented the mercury poisoning of Japanese villagers in the early 1970s. The star reflected on his life recently juxtaposed to both the Japanese villagers who had been poisoned and those who have suffered from COVID-19. That's like getting scratched by a kitten, Depp said of what he's been through comparatively. He also reflected on the film not being released in the US as it has in the UK, something he and director Andrew Levitas appear to blame in part on Depp's personal life. He said of the villagers portrayed in his film, we looked these people in the eyeballs and promised we would not be exploitive, that the film would be respectful, Depp said. I believe that we've kept our end of the bargain, but those who came in later should also maintain theirs." He also referred to, quote, Hollywood's boycott of, um, me. One man, one actor in an unpleasant and messy situation over the last number of years, he said, but, you know, I'm moving towards where I need to go to make all that to bring things to light. Mercury poisoning in the Japanese city of Minamata. The actor's latest role comes after he was asked to resign from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. And that's exactly what he's been trying to do throughout this series of court cases, because he's been fighting to clear his name and provide any proof he can to show that Amber Heard has been lying, which honestly brings us to the major piece of evidence that could turn the case around. Number 1. Body Cam Footage It might seem odd that there is new evidence in a case that's years old, but in this case, it's true, because there's been a piece of new evidence via body cam footage from a key night in the AB done to Amber Heard, and it reveals quite a lot. Four different LAPD officers visited the stylish loft-style apartment in downtown Los Angeles within the space of two hours after Heard's pals mistakenly dialed 911 twice. The first two cops have given new depositions within the past month, reiterating that they swept the $1.5 million property, but didn't see any injuries, vandalism, or evidence of a crime. Daily Mail obtained the body cam footage worn by the second set of LAPD officers when they entered the then married couple's penthouse that night. After losing a court case against British tabloid The Sun, Johnny sued the paper for a libel after they published a story in 2018 calling him a wife. And it appears not to show the apartment in disarray at all. The never before seen video shows the officers walking through Depp and Heard's home, and they don't appear to spot anything that would raise their eyebrows. Depp's attorney Adam Waldman shut down Heard's allegations about that night when he spoke to the Daily Mail. Amber Heard and her friends described a chaotic, messy crime scene, but the newly released LAPD body cam videos unambiguously show that the penthouse was utterly undamaged and that their testimony was one more grandiose lie, he stated. Which, if you don't know the lie, here's the testimony given by Amber Heard and another witness during that night. They have a big kitchen island in the middle of the kitchen, and on there there's candles and like fruit and, you know, glass, like jars and vases and things like that, and he was just hitting everything with a wine bottle, just smashing it all off. And the actor is also suing Heard for $50 million over her 2018 Washington Post op-ed about domestic violence. The trial is due to be held sometime next year. The couple so there was fruit on the floor and baskets and, you know, glass bottles and flowers. Except there apparently wasn't anything like that happening that night, which might be why Amber Heard was so desperate to get the case tossed out of court because she knew that she wouldn't be able to discount this. All eyes are going to be on this case when it proceeds, and if Depp can keep bringing out evidence like this, things may finally turn in his favor. And there you have it everyone, a look at the situation with Depp and how his case will indeed go onward despite Amber Heard's repeated motions to get it tossed. Do you think that Depp will be able to stack this on top of other minor victories in order to showcase his innocence? Or will Amber Heard continue to fight back until she can't anymore? Go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.